Internet connection sharing is back in Windows 11. Let's see how we set it up. First thing we want to do is go into Control Panel. So I'm going to type in Control Panel, if you don't see it there, and click Open. And I'm going to go to where it says Network and Sharing Center, and then Change Adapter Settings. I'm going to pick my, pick my network card. Now, if you, have C, if you see multiple network cards, of course, you're going to need to pick the, the right one for you. And I can't see your computer. All I can see is mine. So this is my main network interface card properties. So I'm going to choose that. You may only see one, which, of course, will make this a lot simpler. Now I'm going to go to where it says sharing. So there's internet connection sharing. It is back. So I'm going to click on allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. And you can also choose whether or not you want other network users to control or disable the shared internet connection. Of course, I would say don't let them do that, but it's up to you. Then you can click OK. Now we need to find out what IP address this computer is. So IP config, there we go. So the main one is going to be 192.168.1.2. So now what I want to do is I want to change the default gateway for my other computers to use that 192.168.1.2. So the next step I would do is I would go to another computer. This is going to be a Windows 10 computer. I'll click on Network and Sharing Center and change adapter settings once again in control panel there's just more options in control panel than there are in the system settings still in windows 10 and 11. Uh, at some point that may change but it will be the same type of procedure now i'm going to right click and choose properties on my main network connection and then i'm going to go to ip version 4. now i'm going to go to my use the following ip address I'm going to type in 192.168.1, and I'll say this is going to be .3. you got to make sure it's not being used at the moment. And I'm going to say 2553 times .0, and then 192.168.1.2 is my gateway, because that's the IP address of that computer. Now, you got to add a DNS server. I don't know what uh, DNS or IP ISP uh, provider you're using. So if you just use Google's 8888, that works everywhere. And then you would click OK. And you say, hey, if you've got multiple gateways, you need to go remove those from the other computer or the other network interface cards. So you would just go into any one of these other ones. And if you see them, and you would just remove them like you see here. So that way you don't have more than one default gateway, because you can't have two default gateways and won't know which way to send that traffic out. And then you'd click OK. And the next thing you want to do is go out to the internet and see what's going on. I'll just go to CNN. And here we see we're getting out to the internet through our new connection. So that is how we set up internet connection sharing on a Windows 11 computer and connect through it on any other operating system.